Hi guys, welcome back to the video. So in this video, we would be looking at how can you pass your JSON data locally and display some sort of data or like a list in Compose using Compose like, okay. And this is a very method, very cool method that you won't be knowing. Many of us don't know this method, right? What we do traditionally, like we use Kotlin serialization. We just read and write files and do something like that something stuff like that but is this what we need when the requirements are too low or even when the requirements are not low uh can't we think of any easy method to do this a uh, thing like to parse our json data locally and display some data so yes we would be looking today at how to do this using compose Okay, I saw YouTube. I think there was no video uh, which was explaining this topic. So I decided to make a video on it. Or also, it is my like first video, uh, which is like uh, I'm making in English. Uh, my early videos were in Hindi for my Indian viewers. And if you love this video, uh, if you love the flow of this video, my uh, the way I'm making you understanding the things. So yes, just let me know. Uh, just let me know in the uh, comment section, right? Okay. So yeah, let me open the folder structure right now. Right now, we won't be focusing that much upon the UI part. Okay. So this is the project. Okay, you can find it on my GitHub. Okay, I will put down the link below in the description. Okay. So yeah. So this is uh, my traditional clean architecture. You might be knowing that. If you don't know. No worries, comment down. I will make a full length video on clean architecture. Okay. So for the time being, uh, there was some data given to me. Okay. There was some data given to me. This is some my like JSON data, which was like given to me. And for example, say for example, I have to display this list in a lazy column. Okay. In like XML, we use recycler view, but in compose, we use lazy column. So how to display a list which display these product categories in front of me. So I have to pass this JSON data obviously. So what will I do is I just, so, okay. So what will I do is I just came into my app module. Just, uh, in, just include these dependencies. Obviously all the dependencies which I'm using for my project is like, it can be different uh from project to project so basically these two dependencies you have to include after that in the utils package okay so let me make you go through my project so this is the database module which is the dao this is the db interface this is my data classes category uh this is item and this is product so these were the three data classes which was generated by the json data right then i made the repository and then i implemented my dagger hill type uh, dependency injection part in the separate module then i implemented the repo part in the domain package and in the domain package i have also implemented the use cases right this is the very traditional architecture and in presentation layers uh, layer obviously my uh, main ui would be there okay so this is my product list screen in which in which I would be showing my items. I would be showing my items and all the components, all the components of uh, like small, small components, which are a part of this product list screen are in the components package. Okay. So <clears throat> coming to the JSON parser, it is the like, it, it is, it is this file. This like interface is in the utils package and yeah. So this is the JSON parser interface. What is a companion object? I will make a companion object. So this, why I'm making companion object so that the method which I am defining here to like pass the JSON should be used in my other classes, the data classes or like the stateholder classes. Okay. So if you don't know what a companion object is, I would like you to visit my Instagram page. What I do there is I upload regular and write interview questions for you guys and also you if you want if you like the content you just can follow my instagram page the instagram handle i will mention in the description 
Okay, so I have discussed already what the companion object is. So, so you can just have a look. Okay, yeah, cool. So I will just for the timing define a companion object. So this is my companion object look like. Okay, so this is my getter. In the getter part, I will just put my JSON. Okay, also, also, what is the stream in end part? What is the stream in end part? I don't know. Obviously, and I will. And I will make you explain this. I don't know. It means that I want to make you research about this topic. It's not that I can't explain you. Obviously, I'm making the video to explain you guys about this topic. But I want some things. I want that some of the things you should research for yourself. Okay. You got it. Okay. So if you see, we are using the concept of string literals in Kotlin. Okay. So you should, I will give the uh, documentation link, link in the description. So you can just do this. Uh, you read this part. What are multi-line strings? Okay. And yes, trim margin function and string interpolation is like one of the thing that uh, it is the part of Kotlin strings. So yes, you should read about it. Okay, so we define multi line strings using our triple code. So that's what we did here. Okay, so we would define our JSON data, whatever the JSON data is given to us in a like multi line string. We defined it. After that, we will define a function. We will define a function, and what this function will return? It will return my, my list of items. The list of items it will return, which I want to show in my UI. Okay. I, in my UI, I am obviously clear what I need to show in my UI. Obviously, a list of items I want to show. So yes, this is this is how you initialize the JSON uh, variable. After then, uh, after that, you should pass pass your top level object from the JSON uh, data, which is being provided to you. After that, you have to extract the list of items from the categories. So for that, you have to understand how your structure like how your this thing json structure looks like after that you can write your code here well all items equals to top level object dot categories dot flat map flat map gives you like one to many mapping one to many mapping is being provided by the flat flat map so yes this function you may be used in very often like very often we use this function flat map after that you would be it you you would be fetching your items in the all items variable after that you would be returning this all items okay got it after that where would we use it in let's control click on json parser we would be using this in state variable okay let me come to the state variable so in my presentation layer i have this file screen this is my main screen i told you already this is the screen which will show my like list of items in obviously i will define one state okay what is a state a state is everything which like changes it changes a state for example for example you have a button okay you have a button and you have a text on a screen you have a text on a screen when you press on plus button and the text changes to like one then two then three. So we can say the state of state is changing, right? Okay. So the state of this text is changing. So this is meant by the term state. Okay. So, yeah, so we are defining the state for our product list screen. So yeah, we are defining the items, which is of type list of item. And here you can got it here. You got it here. You got it. So we are defining our variable items, which is a type of list of item. And here we, what we are getting, we are getting a list of items from our JSON parser interface. You got it. How we are using, how we are, how we are utilizing the Kotlin facilities to make our things easier. Now, what you can do is you can use these items in your UI. Okay. So in this part, in this view model, what I will do is I will update this state. I will update this state. This is the very traditional view model code that you might be knowing. And if you don't know, just comment like, uh, 
please make a video on clean architecture and how do we initialize a view model or something like that i will definitely make a video for all of you guys like i will make an app which which simply displays a list of some items through an api or something like that i will make that okay so here comes the view model part and in this i will update my state okay uh, i will update my state through uh, to the latest state after that i will uh, display my what list of items okay so i will display my list of items in the lazy column part so let's let's run our project and this is the basically error handling part of my ui okay so yes uh, let's see how our app looks like so yes uh, it's look it's looking like this it's looking like this so yes i hope this is clear okay so yeah i hope this is clear to you so if you come if you come if you come in the card component if you come in the card component which is being rendered in this lazy column you can see also how this ui looks okay how can you see you can just go to split and the preview would be displayed okay so yeah this is how the preview would be displayed this is the image which is being rendered through glide okay after that the text is displayed after that the price is displayed okay and yes oh this is my two icons so for the time being for the time being i hope uh, this makes sense to you guys okay so this is how our list is being displayed through json data parsing i hope this video makes sense to you and uh, I hope if this problem comes in front of you in future, you can see this video, you can take the help of this video and can easily show your data uh, in a screen through JSON data passing. So yeah, uh, see you guys in the next video with another important topic or like say interesting topic or just comment down what topic you want me to cover. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Till then, Keep exploring, keep learning, have a nice day.